Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Google plus Oreo. Okay, I see the vision, let's go. Okay, so my initial thought with this one is to take this G and O and make it say Goo-Rio. And then I wanna make it be in the exact style of the Oreo logo, but all the letters be the colors of Google. My first step is gonna be duplicating this O. Then I need to find a G that kind of matches that vibe and resize it so that it looks good with the rest of the logo. Okay, I brought it into Procreate and now I'm just gonna add on all of those shadow colors that each of these has. Now I just need to add on this blue outline. Then I need to add on the light blue outline around the whole thing. Now all I have to do is make all the colors match up with the ones on the Google logo and here is the final result. This one came out pretty much exactly how I envisioned it in my head. I don't think it sounds very appetizing or like a good website, so the name maybe isn't the best, but I think it turned out really well. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I am going to mash them together. Okay, up first we have Pringles plus Lego. Okay, let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we call it Pringos and we make it be in the font style of the Lego logo, but stretch this out so it's almost similar to this red shape and then make the Pringles guy into a square. Okay, I found a similar font, so now I'm gonna type out Pringles. I'm gonna go ahead and give it that look that the logo on the Lego has and make a red rectangle behind it. Now I'm gonna make a white square slash rectangle about the size of the Pringles guy. And now I'm just gonna select all the assets from the Pringles man and move them into the box. And here is the final result. I just love this little square Pringles dude so much. And it turned out pretty much exactly what I was thinking it would in my head. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Hello Kitty plus, ooh, the Crocs logo, okay. Okay, so my thought on it is basically just to trace around the Crocs logo in this kind of thick, bold line and then give him whiskers, a little nose, and a little bow. So I'm gonna down the opacity on it so then when I'm drawing my line, you can see it a little more. And I'm just gonna trace completely around him. I'm trying to do my best to make it a little more cartoony as well as I go. Okay, now that I've got that drawn, I'm gonna add those beady black eyes from Hello Kitty and the little yellow nose. Next, I'm gonna add those whiskers. And finally, I need to draw on the bow, and here is the final result. I don't know how this one could have possibly turned out any different in my head, but it looks so adorable and funny. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Target plus... Ooh, the Olympics logo. Okay, I think I know what we have to do for this one. So my thought is basically just to make each of these circles be the same size and have the dot in the middle like the Target logo, but make it all the colors of the Olympics logo. Okay, so I'm gonna start by resizing them to be the exact size of each of these circles. And now I just need to make each of them the exact color of the Olympic rings. If you'll notice on these, they're all interlocking. So I might have to make them be a little bit more squished together so that I can get that interlocking look. Okay, I got them all closer, so now I can just select each individual one and just paint over it, and then it should give it that interlocking look like that. So I'm gonna do that with all of them, and here is the final result. This one's kind of simple. It just kind of looks like the Target logo <laughs> duplicated all over the place, but something about it I like. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Lay's plus Ooh, NASA. Okay, let's go. These shapes go really well together. So I'm thinking what we do is the blue will go behind this kind of Lay's red swoosh, which kind of matches the NASA one. And then I want to call it NASA and wait, Laysa? I want to call it Laysa and do it in the NASA font and then add in all these star elements to the back. So the first step is just going to be to get rid of all of the letters. And then I'm gonna bring the NASA logo up and put it behind it. I found the NASA font and I'm just gonna type out Lisa. I don't like that the little loopy is hidden back there. 
So I think I'm gonna put it to the top and select it. So I'm just gonna resize it and here is the final result. I think this one turned out so funny. The shapes work so well together. And the fact that they both have this red line through it. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Disney plus, ooh, Skyline Chili, a family favorite. Okay, let's go. So if you don't know what Skyline is, it's like a chili place in the Midwest my family loves. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is take the castle back here and kind of put it behind the Skyline logo and then change this to say Di Skyline Disney. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select this whole logo and this outline around the logo. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the Disney castle. And I'm gonna move that into place behind the Skyline logo. Let's resize it a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and color the entire castle that Skyline blue. Lastly, I'm gonna delete all of the word chili and I'm gonna make it say Disney and here is the final result. This one does not really look that different than the Skyline logo. And I think if you were to just glance at it, you wouldn't even know, but I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have John Deere plus Twitter. Okay, I already have the vision, let's go. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. Basically what I wanna do is take the Twitter bird and flip it and turn it yellow and put it in here where this deer is. But I also think I wanna give it some of the deer elements like the antlers. So the first step is just gonna be to remove the deer completely from the John Deere logo. And I'm gonna fill in the Twitter bird yellow. Then I'm going to go ahead and rotate it, flip it, I mean, and resize it so that it fits better within the box. Then the final step is gonna be just to take just the antler from the deer, place it on the bird, and here is the final result. This turned out pretty much exactly how I thought it would. I feel like the antlers on top of the Twitter bird is giving a jack Jackalope, or like one of those made up animals in the desert, but I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have PlayStation plus FedEx, okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we do the font from FedEx, but in the style and colors of the PlayStation logo. So for instance, taking the F and making it big and red, and then maybe taking the X so we can keep the arrow in there and turning it and making it the same colors as the S. So the first step is gonna be just to take out the F and I'm gonna fill it in red. The PlayStation logo is a little skewed, so I'm gonna do the same thing for the F. Then I'm gonna grab the E and the X from the FedEx logo and basically do the same thing for that one. So here's what that looks like. I've selected the E and the X and now I just need to make it the same colors as the PlayStation logo. And here is the final result. I think honestly, this looks really cute. I love this PlayStation logo to begin with. And it's always fun for me to see what it might look like with other logos. I think I've done the Xbox one in the past. Let me know what you think about this FedEx one though in the comments. I recently mashed together the Pringles and the Lego logo and this is the design I came up with, but a lot of you in the comments were suggesting that I should have used an actual Lego minifig head for the Pringles guy. So today, let's redesign my redesign. So first I need to find an image of a Lego head and bring that into my original design and I'm gonna remove all of the features. I'm gonna angle it like the original logo, and I'm gonna grab all the features from the original Pringles logo, and finally mask them all out, and here is the final result. I think this turned out so cute and definitely looks way more like it fits into the Lego universe. Let me know what you think about this redesign in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Tide plus <gasps> Pepsi, okay, two circles, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we make it say Tide C and we make it kind of be in this font overlaid on top of this logo. And then for each of the little rings, I think I'm just gonna duplicate that here and cut out the middle where the white is. So the first step is gonna be just to duplicate each of these rings. Okay, here's that with none of the logo on it. Now I wanna make each of these rings be blue and then red and then blue. 
Okay, so I've got my two halves right here, and now I just wanna go ahead and select the inner part of the Pepsi logo and subtract it from this. And here's what that looks like. I found the font, it's called Compacta, and I'm gonna type out C. Now I just need to mask that out. Lastly, I just had to put it all together, and here's the final result. Honestly, this one looks pretty cool. I was not sure exactly how it would look with the red and the white and all the different color combos, but I'm happy about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Instagram plus Microsoft. Okay, let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is removing all of these parts of the Instagram logo and taking this square and making one of each color and then going back and taking the white parts of this one and putting it in the middle of all four squares. So first I need to go ahead and remove all of the white parts and we get something like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and resize it and get one in each of these squares. This is what I've got, it is very trippy. Now I'm gonna go through and put a color over top of each one of them and it looks like this and then if I take the blending mode and set it to here, we have this. Now I'm gonna select all of the white part of the Instagram logo and mask it out. And then we should be able to just move it in front of this. And here is the final result. Why does it kind of look like a Pokemon gym badge? Honestly, the vision came fully together like I thought it would, but I'm still not too sold on this as a logo as a whole. But let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have ooh, red bull plus crocs okay i think we know what we have to do well i'm just gonna take the crocs head and kind of put it up here where these bulls are and then draw out a crocodile body instead of the bull so i'm gonna rescale the croc just so we can get a little bit of an idea of where the head's gonna go and i'm gonna go over the general shape of the logo with that red wrapping with the tail kind of like whipping around or something like that and i want to add a bunch of like Bites. Now for the legs, I kind of do want to mimic the bowl and make it look like they're kind of like running. Now I need to go through with the yellow and add in all the little details. The original croc logo is kind of happy, but I definitely want to make this one like a raging crocodile. So I've got the one in there, now I'm gonna add the other, and here is the final result. This one is one of those ones that's just really fun to make, and I love the final result. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have BP plus BMW. Okay, let's go. Okay, my idea for this one is to call it BPW. <laughs> and then somehow I'm gonna take this shape here and put it in this circle and then make it be blue and white. So the first step is gonna be to remove this M. And apparently this font is just Helvetica. So I'm gonna type out a P. Now I'm gonna move the BP logo into the middle. And basically I need to color each side blue. So I'm gonna make these boxes and then eventually we can get them down to the right size. So this is what I have, but if I change the blending mode to be hue, it should look perfect. Last step is instead of the circle around it, I wanna make it look like almost the flower. So I'm gonna figure out how to do that. And here is the final result. This one is one of those ones that's just kind of funny at the end of it all. It doesn't necessarily look like an amazing logo, but my vision came through. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have NBC plus Nike. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm thinking this is gonna be pretty simple. What I wanna do is take this exact shape and just put it in the place of each one of these little guys. Add in this little beak once I get all of those. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and make multiple different copies of the Nike logo and just place them around. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Now for each of these, I need to go ahead and add a color overlay in the exact colors from the NBC logo. Now the last thing I need to do is just duplicate this little tiny peacock beak, place it onto the other one, and here is the final result. Again with this one, I don't know where I could have gone wrong. The two just fit so perfectly together, but it did come out exactly how I envisioned it. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Netflix plus 
Kit Kat, okay. Okay, basically what I'm thinking for this one is making it say Kit Flicks and kind of keeping it within the similar style as this original Kit Kat logo. But I think what could be cool is if the whole background was like, hold on, these stripes from the Netflix original intro. So the first thing I wanna do is just erase anything from here over. And then since this is kind of like a font that's clearly created just for this logo, I'm gonna go ahead and try to recreate it, do a color overlay with the brighter red. All right, the last step is gonna be to bring in all of the colors from the Netflix intro. So I'm gonna resize that, cut out the oval, and here's the final result. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Apple plus Tide. Okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is recreating the Apple logo multiple times and coloring it in with these colors. And then I wanna use the Tide font, but call it Tapple. So the first step is gonna be coloring the Apple in different colors. So I'm gonna do a color overlay and make it be yellow. Then I duplicated it and we'll do the same thing with an orange one. Okay, I did that one more time. Now I'm gonna do basically the exact same thing, but to the little leaf. Now from the Tide logo, I'm gonna steal the T and I'm gonna move it up onto the Apple. And I found out the Tide font is called Compacta, so I'm gonna type out Tapple. It's not going at the right angle, so I'm gonna make it go up and then skew it this way a little bit more. And then finally, I just need to go ahead and add on that white stroke to it and here is the final result. I love when I can add color to the Apple logo. It reminds me of the very old, almost rainbow logo that they used to have. This one turned out really cool to me. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Wikipedia plus Pepsi. Okay, similar shapes, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is we need to take the colors from Pepsi and put it on the Wikipedia logo. I definitely wanna add this black ring around this one as well, and I'm gonna call it Whipsy. So I've got the Wikipedia logo, now I wanna add on a black stroke about the size of the Pepsi logo. Next, I'm gonna resize the Pepsi logo so that it's just the same size as the one we're working with, and select the red and blue and then mask them out. And I'm gonna adjust the layer style until we get something that works. That is looking so good. Now I'm gonna go back in and select all of the letters from Pepsi, mask those out, and then go ahead and erase the P and the E. I'm gonna duplicate the I and bring that over. Finally, I need to find the perfect W font. Select just this part right here, mask it out, and here's the final result. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna really care for this one, but it turned out so fun. And that little tiny puzzle piece cut out at the end really makes it all come together. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have BMW plus Red Bull. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we call it Bull MW, and then I'm gonna put this little symbol right here. And then instead of these bulls right here, I wanna make them be two BMWs heading toward each other. So I'm thinking I wanna use this car because it kinda has a similar shape to the bulls. So I'm really gonna have to just outline this and try to just get in as many details as I can. So it still looks like the car, but also looks like it's in the same outline style. Okay, here's what I have. Now I need to color it in with the same red, resize it and place it and duplicate it and move it to the other side. Then I'm gonna recolor in the BMW logo to be that yellow and resize and place it where the other one is. I'm gonna take the word bull, type out MW, and here is the final result. I love my little illustration I did for this. I think the two cars coming together looks so cool in this style. Let me know what you think about it all in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Monster plus 
McDonald's. Okay, two M's, let's do it. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious what we have to do here. I think I'm going to trace the McDonald's M, but in this kind of jaggedy style of the monster logo. And then I'm gonna add some shadows in here to kind of mimic the shadows in here. I wanted to say Mick Monster, I guess, and make sure to include that little O in there. So the first step is just gonna be to go ahead and give the McDonald's M those squiggly, drippy, claw marky effects. Okay, here's how that's looking. Now I'm gonna color it in yellow, and then how each of these has kind of like a little shadow on the side. I'm gonna take that same yellow, deepen it a little bit, and then start adding it in to each of the sides. That is looking really cool, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the red background back to it. And where it says McDonald's, I'm gonna draw it in the kind of monster font that they have going on. Last thing I need to do is make space for the logo, and here is the final result. Honestly, this came out exactly how I pictured it in my head. I love the McDonald's logo in this, I don't know, grungy style. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Chevron plus Microsoft. Okay, let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is making these be the same color, so like blue and blue, and then duplicating that and putting it in each one of these squares and making them be the different color of each of the Microsoft logo. And then I wanna make this say Chevrosoft. So the first step is gonna be duplicating this blue and then moving it down instead of the red. Now I'm gonna resize that and duplicate it four times. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select each one and adjust the hue and saturation so that we have a kind of decent match to each of the colors. Now that we have that, I wanna take just the first part of Chevron, type out Chevrosoft in the font, and here is the final result. Honestly, this one turned out so cute. I love whenever I get the Microsoft logo and I can just change the different colors of each logo. But something about this with the Chevrosoft at the top, I don't know, it really brings it all together. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments.